you know what right about now i'm getting kind of poor lately so i'm looking for something to eat i see some mite over here some new over here and some something little sweet which is cold but i got a good friend to help me out his name is Kamaui Ayona and we're here in Maui at Kahanu Gardens and there's so much la'au over here, so much plants that I need his help to explain it to me. How are you doing brother? Good, how are you? Good seeing you. Good, good. Can you tell me a little bit about these plants, this, this garden and especially the ko? Well the reason why we have this garden here is to grow all of the different canoe plants or the plants that were brought here with our ancestors. Cool. And they provide us food, they provide us shelter, clothing, everything that you would need you can get out of these plants. You can eat, you can have shelter, so much. Now what can we use with the, the coal? What can we get from it? Well, the coal, the most famous thing is to get the sugar out oh, of the Oh, yeah. And what do you do? You, you cut them up and yeah, then what? You cut the whole stalk, you shave off the, uh, the skin of the, the bark, and then all you're left with is the pulp, the juicy pulp to chew, chew on. Chew on, mm -hmm. chew on. Cool, yeah, that sounds ono. like ono. Now, we're here in Hana, and I'm seeing that there's a lot of there's a lot of la'i or tea leaf back there. Can you also explain sure, some, why not? some of the uses of, of uh, tea leaf? Well, probably the most common use, and I'm sure all the keikis know this too, is you use this to wrap lao laos, right? Right. 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 Or you I chase the flies away at the right. luau. But uh, tea leaf is, you know, probably one of our most well-used plants from the garden. Many, many different uses. Mm -hmm. Skirts for hula, you know, it just lays right. lots of lots of different use. Now what about, um, oh, I see on Kamani tree, can we walk over there and sure. talk about that one? Sure. Okay, so this is the Kamani and what can we use from the Kamani? Well, the most obvious use is the shade. Right. We're here, here we are under the Kamani tree enjoying its shade. Um, it has other uses as well. It's wood. It's very useful for making bowls. It's a beautiful, beautiful wood for calabash. And it doesn't sour your poi. You can it doesn't doesn't okay. sour the poi. That's right. And then what about them? Um, I've seen some other trees that look like this, but um, I don't know if it's the same thing. Those are false kamani trees. You find them on the shore, but uh, different than this true Hawaiian kamani. Okay, so we're gonna watch out for that, folks. Next time you're on the beach. Um, what about the flowers? The flowers are useful too, as a very sweet scent. You can use it for uh, scenting your kappa. Um, it also has seeds. Those flowers turn into big fruit that have uh, oil inside wow. the nut. So there's a lot of stuff you can do. You can do bowls, you can use it for scenting stuff, and of course you can get shade from the, the sun. How about that tree over there? Let's check out that one, because that one looks like it's ono. It is. <laughs> okay, I think most of our haumana know this tree and this plant. Yeah, guys, because it's good in the morning for breakfast. What is this plant? This is maia, this uh -huh. is banana. Maia. Yeah, and we have uh, some fruit that's up there, not quite ripe yet. Um, it's also good for other things other than eating. Uh, the big stumps of these bananas are used to line the emu when you want to cook oh, your that's great. pig and stuff, great. kalua. Yeah. And, uh, and then the leaves and everything we mulch, we use for mulch around, back around the plants. So when you say mulch, just so my friends back home know what this is mulching. When you mulch, what do you actually do? You actually cut the stumps up, we take all the leaves and we spread it around the base of the plant so that all of the keikis coming up have, have uh, nutrition to grow from. Oh, that's cool. It's like on blanket. Yeah, that's right. And this is a cool one because I know at the end of a luau, we always love to have a special treat. And I think it comes from this one, right? That's right. This is the, called the pia plant. Mm -hmm. This is where we get haupia. Oh, okay. And yeah. so how do you actually make haupia from this plant? So nowadays we cheat. We use cornstarch. Okay. But in the old times, you get your coconut, mm -hmm. you get sugar, and the root from this plant makes a starch that you mix in, and that's what makes the haupia set up real firm. Oh, cool. And then that's how you get the dessert. So remember this plant, because this is the real ono one for after, the, uh, after luau. Um, what about that one over there? You know, I know that one is cool too, so can we check out that last one? Yeah, let's go check it out. Cool. Wow, this tree is like the tallest kukuina tree I've ever seen, but I know this plant is super useful. Can you share with us? I'll share with you just a few things about this tree because we don't want to be here all day. Huh? <laughs> um, the main purpose that we'll talk about is from the nut itself. Okay. So we come under this tree here, there's lots of nuts. Oh, cool. You recognize this nut coming from uh, like the lays that we yeah, wear, a like kukui nut lay. Mm -hmm. But inside the nut itself is a kernel. And in that kernel, there's lots of oil. 
Okay. And the oil is very useful for lighting to make, uh, you know, like in the old days, we needed candles to see at night. Wow, you cool. could light this. You could also use the oil for your skin, you know, it's a uh, very, very useful oil. How about, do we ever eat this? Oh yeah, we can eat it. You don't want to eat it raw. Okay, yeah, okay. Because then you're going to have to run to the lua. <laughs> okay. But if you roast this nut and chop it up, that's okay. how you make inamona. Oh, inamona. And you eat inamona with your poke, right? That's right. I know this plant. Now, what plant is this? Okay, you might have heard this called kava or right. kava kava before. But in Hawaiian, this is ava. Ava and ava, what does that mean? Ava means bitter. And the reason why we call it a bitter plant is because the, the drink that we make from the root of the ava tastes really, really bitter. Oh, okay, so when you, why would you want to drink it then? Well, the, it has important ceremonial uses, but also it helps relax our muscles. So oh. after a, a long day of work and we want to relax and, and kind of heal our bodies, we drink ava. Wow, Kiki, I didn't realize how much uses there are with all of these plants. I want to say mahalo to your brother, Kamaui for sharing your Ike with us. My pleasure. And I'll leave you now. Aloha. Aloha.